Okay, let's peer inside the winding tail of the much vilified sodium lauryl sulfate. It's a surfactant. But how did it get such a bad name? In fact, it has such a bad reputation that I've even seen the mere absence of sodium lauryl sulfate being used in marketing for why one product is more desirable or superior without this common ingredient. To recap, sodium lauryl sulfate is very common cheap synthetic surfactant. This ingredient is responsible for the soapiness or the foaming action of cleansers, shampoos, scrubs, and even the foam we experience in toothpaste. SLS is cheap and easy to produce. It works so well because it forms stable bonds with water and air to make bubbles. And with long fatty ester molecule chains, they grab onto any oil and dirt molecules in sight, making it an excellent cleanser too. But again, how did it get such a bad reputation? Well, first of all, it can work too well. Even in super small amounts, it can still be very stripping and irritating to our natural skin barrier and our mucosa. However, the main reason that SLS has a bad reputation is because of how it's made. First of all, it starts from a petroleum base. For those of you who are eco-conscious, that right there is a turnoff. Then it's mixed with a base, which is something very high in pH. Usually this base is sodium hydroxide, and again, if you're eco-conscious, this is also a turnoff because the production of sodium hydroxide is inherently toxic. In addition, it forms harmful gases to be released into the environment during production. So that's two strikes against SLS and its production. The next step in SLS production involves crystallization and dehydration, often done with irritating alcohols. This step isn't necessarily harmful to the environment, but if you are like me and you have sensitive skin, this step is responsible for the irritating nature of SLS surfactant. That makes three strikes against SLS surfactant right there. Three strikes and you're out. That, my friends, is why it's often a good idea to pass on products using SLS. They're often stripping to most skin types, it's environmentally harmful to produce this stuff, and lastly, the harsh synthetic nature of these chemicals involved are irritating to most.